This is the Washington Times front page for Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Republican Representative Matt Gates has filed a resolution to remove House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, setting into motion a floor vote this week that will decide the Speaker's fate and the direction of the House Republican Conference. Kerry Pickett, Susan Ferriccio, and Mallory Wilson report the Floridian made the move to oust McCarthy, known as a motion to vacate the chair, after the Speaker turned to House Democrats on Saturday to pass a stopgap spending bill that averted a partial government shutdown. McCarthy responded to Getz's motion to oust him on social media, saying, bring it on. Some Republicans say Getz is a joke and a charlatan, and they want to expel him over his efforts to push out McCarthy, which would likely throw the House into disarray. Getz has been threatening to push out McCarthy since January, when he led a small rebellion that forced an unprecedented 15 rounds of voting before McCarthy could secure enough votes to win the speakership. At least four Republicans and all Democrats will have to vote for the motion for it to succeed. Pope Francis has suggested blessing same-sex couples, though even supporters of such a significant change acknowledge it is likely to face intense opposition. Mark Kellner reports the Vatican released the comments, which were originally made in July, this week after five conservative cardinals issued a demand for yes or no answers to their questions. The Pope, who previously supported civil marriages for same-sex couples, is now indicating potential support for some church blessing to the couples, as long as the partnership doesn't resemble the marriage sacrament. Government data shows recent migrants crossing the southern U.S. border with Mexico are making it across the country and straining communities' ability to accommodate them. Stephen Dining reports the numbers are so overwhelming that U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement hasn't been able to start deportation proceedings in about half of the cases, according to data provided to a federal court. Roughly 18% of the new arrivals headed for New York City and its surrounding regions. Another 30% went to Chicago, Boston, Miami, and San Francisco. Atlanta, Denver, Detroit, New Orleans, and Washington, D.C. also ranked as top destinations. And finally, Ukraine is staring down one of the world's largest militaries, but it may face another enemy that's perhaps equally dangerous, the weakening of Western resolve. Ben Wolfgang reports top Russian officials predicted the U.S. and NATO are in the early throes of Ukraine fatigue. They said domestic politics on both sides of the Atlantic may be opening the door to a slow erosion of the steady aid that has kept Ukraine alive in the fight. That prediction hasn't panned out so far in the 19-month conflict. European Union foreign ministers traveled to Kyiv this week and met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. The White House was also eager to shoot down the idea that Allied unity was faltering or that Russia could outweigh the coalition assembled against it. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app and find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on social media at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.